Okay. When that's called by either Alice or Bob, what's happening in there? Well, basically what's being re returned is like <clears throat> the actual hash that needs to be signed. But internally, we need to make sure that the storage setter dot add function is being encoded into the hash. So conceptually, all we need to think of here is that this is returning the hash and that hash represents the storage setter add function call data that's been encoded. So let's start off with an alphabetical order. Oh, this board is too small to bend on. Right, so first off, Alice wants to call a proof hash, like she's already signaled. So what she needs to do is get the hash firstly, right? So she calls a proof hash, she gets the hash. Then using her wallet, like MetaMask, Phantom, whatever wallet you have, basically Alice is gonna call save.approve hash and then pass in the hash and she's going to sign that with a wallet she's going to send that transaction gets in, included into a block and gets mined into the chain and then the storage gets updated on the contract and the safe is now aware that Alice has approved this transaction hash so that's pretty simple pretty straightforward Next is Bob. So Bob says he wants to sign. So it's actually a similar situation, right? So Bob wants to also get the hash. Remember, this is representative of the call data to the storage setter. So Bob gets a hash and he has an offline private key. So he's gonna call an elliptic curve with his private key. So he's gonna call sign with his private key. He's gonna sign the hash. That's gonna get him a signature, right? So this signature is gonna to have to be used then to make the safe aware that this transaction has now reached quorum of two out of three owners. So who's going to do that? Well, Bob could call execute transaction himself, but let's introduce another person here uh, just to show that Bob doesn't have to and that it's actually 